So good evening. I'd like to welcome you to this um, event. Um, I'm Dr. Tim Oxley. For those of you who may not know, I'm the interim dean of the School of Business and Aviation. Uh, and I'm certainly pleased to welcome each of you to, uh, to this event. Welcome to our inductees. Welcome to your guests. Uh, this is our first virtual uh, induction, if you will. And this is not well rehearsed, so it's going to be a bit informal, uh, perhaps more so than if we'd have been able to have done this on campus during our regular award ceremony. I would like to remind you to remute your uh, to mute your devices, and if you would keep them on mute, it helps reduce any feedback that we may get from your speakers. Uh, the inductees will be asked to unmute uh, at, by Dr. Giorcelli at the time of the pledge. So just stay on uh, mute until prompted, if you would, please. Thank you. Now, this virtual approach is certainly not the solemn occasion that our normal spring induction ceremony has become. We believe that, that the induction into Delta Mu Delta is such an honor uh, and that only a few of your peers achieve this honor. We wanted to acknowledge at some level your accomplishment. Uh, Dr. Giorcelli and Professor Frazier, the faculty advisors to the Delta Mu Delta, um, have, have provided um, and will provide you with a lot of details on uh, the significance of Delta Mu Delta here in just a moment. But I wish to underscore the fact that induction into membership is, is an honor, and it's an honor that signifies your exceptional, exceptional academic achievement. And the induction into the uh, Delta Mu Delta National Honor Society should not be taken lightly. But before I hand the presentation over to Dr. Giuselli, I was looking through doing some reading, and, and I found a, a passage that I thought was quite poignant, and I would like to just kind of iterate that for you, because it goes back to the dialogue of the teacher, for those of you that may remember your ancient philosophy. But St. Augustine of Hippo, who was a great philosophy uh, philosopher and teacher, and what he realized more than a millennium and a half ago was that teaching should not just be about knowledge, but about achievement. That knowledge is only a means to achievement. And achievement should be based on the strengths of every student. Finding a student's strengths and fo focusing on that achievement is the best definition of teaching according to St. Augustine. So I'm confident each of you meeting the eligibility for induction into this National Honor Society, Delta Mu Delta, not only have the knowledge, but you also have the strengths, you have the character to achieve whatever you decide to do. So with that, I want to say congratulations. You should be very proud of this achievement, and we certainly appreciate you taking the time to join us this evening. And with that, I will turn over the presentation to Dr. Rebecca Giuselli, she is the chair of the Department of Marketing and Management Studies for our guests, in case they didn't know, here in the School of Business and Aviation. And she's a faculty advisor, one of two for Delta Mu Delta. Dr. Giuselli. Thank you, Dr. Oxley. Welcome, everyone. Delta Mu Delta is an international honor society established to recognize and reward superior scholastic achievement of students in business administration. When the School of Business at Fairmont State University received accreditation through ACBSP in 2005, it became eligible for a chapter in the Delta Mu Delta International Honor Society. This means that students invited to our local chapter, Kappa Omicron, are not simply recognized as the best of the best at Fairmont State University, but the best of the best across all ACBSP accredited business administration programs. Delta Mu Delta provides recognition for a lifetime. Jason Frazier, Instructor of Economics and Finance and Co-Faculty Advisor, will now give you some information about the origin and history of Delta Mu Delta and explain the symbolism of the name and the key. Jason? Sorry, <laughs> I was already jumping in there. The Society was founded at the School of Commerce, Accounts, and Finance, New York University, on November 18, 1913. It was the result of efforts of five professors from the University of New York, the University of Yale, and the University of Harvard. These educators believe that recognition should be given to outstanding students of business subjects. Specifically, the purpose of Delta Mu Delta is twofold, to promote high scholarship and education for business, and to recognize and reward scholastic attainment in business subjects. Chapters were formed at other leading colleges 
However, it was not until 1952 that a national chapter was organized under the nonprofit laws of the state of Pennsylvania for the purpose of binding the individual chapters into a cohesive unit to carry forward the aims of the society. Is to the Kappa Omicron chapter at Fairmont State University, but your membership is in the society wherever established and maintained. This honor can be obtained in only one way. It cannot be bought nor can be had as a gift. It must be earned by faithful, earnest toil, by serious application to studies and persistent application in scholastic work. Your success in college has brought you this recognition. We expect you, as members of Delta Mu Delta, to add new luster to your school, your community, your profession, and your society. The name Delta Mu Delta stands for the Greek phrase, dia methesos dynamis, which translated signifies through knowledge power not the power of uncontrolled aggression but the power to manage for social and economic good use the knowledge that you gain in extending the power of right and truth knowledge is not selfish nor self-seeking and the true student will seek and obtain knowledge for the greater purpose of helping others through service and transmission of things learned the badge of the society is the key symbolizing the key treasure house of the universe. It is in the form of the Greek letter Delta. On the front of the key appear the Greek initials of the society and is a full rigged ship with sails set and colors flying, symbolizing the activities of business, not as a mercenary vocation, but as a bond which unites and blesses all mankind. The key and certificate are tangible and visible evidence of the honor which you have attained. They should be worn and displayed proudly. Thank you, Jason. The next order of business is the induction of new student members of the Kappa Omicron chapter. Therefore, I address myself to those students who are to be inducted today. Your scholastic qualifications for membership in Delta Mu Delta have been verified by Dean Tim Oxley and myself. You have been honored by an invitation to membership in Delta Mu Delta, and I am therefore authorized to induct you as members of the Kappa Omicron chapter. Members of Kappa Omicron, we will now proceed with the induction of newly elected members. I ask the inductees to be prepared to unmute your mics when cued during the responses. The bylaws are the fundamental law of our society and published on the national website. Do each of you accept the purpose of Delta Mu Delta as expressed in those bylaws, and do you desire to be admitted into Delta Mu Delta? I'll give you a moment, and if so, please say, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Please repeat after me the following statement in which you will formally accept the purpose of Delta Mu Delta. I will ask you to state your name and repeat after me. I state your name. I solemnly affirm to all those present. Solemnly affirm to all those present. And those who have me. That I will serve the society to the best of my ability. That I will serve the society to the best of my ability. I will observe the society's bylaws. I will observe the society's bylaws. And provide counsel and aid for my fellow members. And provide counsel and aid to my fellow members. In accepting membership into Delta Mu Delta, International Honor Society in Business Administration. International Honor Society in Business Administration. I acknowledge the distinct honor that has been bestowed upon me. I acknowledge the distinct honor that has been bestowed upon me. This pledge is evidence of my commitment to your fellowship. This pledge is evidence of my commitment to your fellowship. That 
actually went better than I had expected. <laughs> All right, thank you. So now you can mute your mics again just to reduce the feedback and we'll continue with the ceremony. In recognition of your academic achievements and your pledge to the purpose of Delta Mu Delta, each newly inducted member will be receiving a certificate and the key to the society. The key provides a tangible symbol of your commitment. We'll now recognize each of the newly inducted undergraduate members of the Kappa Omicron chapter. Samuel Joseph Biafor. Tangible activities and achievements include starting a student organization on campus, maintaining Dean's List every semester, traveling to Florida and throughout West Virginia. Career goals are to work in social media marketing and digital advertising and someday own his own business. Hobbies and interests include listening to music, creating content with friends, and being around friends and family. Curtis James Duvall. Curtis's achievements and activities is a Navy veteran served as a missile technician on board Submarine SS B9 or BN rather 730 the Henry M Jackson. He's a three-time President's List recipient and has earned a 3.85 grade point average. Career goals include sitting for the CPA exam and working for a tech company based in Seattle. Hobbies and interests, he is an avid sports fan, enjoys listening to sports radio, and enjoys watching his Seahawks and Yankees. Maya Jessica Gentilazzi. I should have said at the beginning, if I mispronounce anyone's name, please feel free to correct me. Unfortunately, when we have the face-to-face -face ceremony, we generally have time to make sure pronunciations are correct. I didn't have that opportunity this time, so I apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name. May's career goals are to pursue a job at the FBI in project management, achievements and activities, He's a manager at Washington Square Pizzeria and Lounge and a Fairmont State Falcons cheerleader. Hobbies and interests include teaching dance to children. Cassidy Nicole Greenwood. Cassidy's achievements and activities include being an active executive committee member for the Fairmont State Honors Program. She studied at London South Bank University in London of fall 2019, interned at Thompson Crosby Capital Markets Investment Firm in London, and president list every semester by maintaining a 4.0 grade point average. Career goals, work with an investment company on socially responsible investments. Long-term, create a nonprofit that financially and emotionally support low-income and first-generation students. Cassidy's hobbies interests include art, hiking, reading, and being with her friends. And a fun fact, she is working at Allstate as a licensed sale agent. Kelby Hall. I should have also announced that some of our students did not um, provide information and so may only have a certificate. Sarah Haller. Sarah Howler's achievements and activity include summa cum laude graduate degree <laughs> in veterinary technology. She has passed national boards in the state exam in 2018 and is working in an animal hospital located in Bridgeport. She's made president's list or dean's list every semester and in 2020 was an outstanding senior in healthcare management. Her career goals are to work in a medical facility as a hospital manager or work in a large veterinary hospital as a veterinary practice manager. Her hobbies and interests include owning multiple species of plants, rabbits, dogs, cats, goats, and sheep. Actually, Nicole Heck. Ashley's activities and achievements, she has worked as an RN in med surge unit at Summersville Regional Medical Center volunteer at a local nursing home. Her career, her career goals 
She plans to work as an RN, return to school for an FMP, which is a family nurse practitioner degree. She uses experience and knowledge to obtain a position in healthcare administration. Hobbies and interests are crafting, camping, spending time with family and friends. Marie, Dominique, June. Caleb Johnson. Achievements and activities. He was homeschooled in high school, allowing dual enrollment in a local community college at age 15. Earned 89 credits before coming to Fairmont State. He's been the Dean's List six times across two schools, President's List for the first time this semester. Earned Eagle Scout at age 16 and served a year as the Vice President of Phi Beta Lambda the last two semesters at Blue Ridge Community College. His career goals, he would like to earn an MBA for the technology sector. He prefers project development and aspires to own his own business consulting firm on the West Coast. Fun fact, he will be married and graduated by the age 21. Lars Mitchell Lehman. Lars's achievement and activities, he is a Fairmont State resident assistant, active in the community and a member of the honors program. His career goals include forensic accounting, possibly for the FBI, considering a path to blend the English writing minor with accounting major. Hobbies and interests, he lived in the small Swiss community of Halvita, West Virginia. Allison Leanne McHugh. Allison's achievements and activities, she is a certified pastry chef with the American Culinary Pastry and Baking Program Coordinator at Pierpont Community and Technical College and the recipient of the NISOD NISOD Excellent Award for Teaching. Career goals. Originally began working on a degree to enhance her career as a community college instructor. Now viewing this as an opportunity to make a career change that will give her more flexibility and more options. She plans to become a CPA. She also would like to pursue an accounting position with the federal government. Hobbies interests include collecting unique whisks and baking tools. She does spend a lot of time searching online and antique shops for something she's never seen before. Sean Peters. Sean's activities and achievements. He is the president of the Student Accounting Society, participates in the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, and works on it as a tutor on campus specializing in accounting, finance, and business-related fields. Career goals include working at one of the big four accounting firms to attend law school. Hobbies and interests, pretty uh, eyes on the prize. He would like to become a certified public accountant. Pedro Gaspar. Pedro's achievements and activities Academic Award, Department of Business and Entrepreneurship, Davis and Elkins College, Spring of 2019. Freshman Athlete of the Year at Davis and Elkins College, Fall 2017, Spring 2018. Freshman Swimmer of the Year, Great Midwest Athletic Conference, Fall 2017, Spring 2018. Mount East Conference, Fall 2019, Spring 2020. And Falcon Center Supervisor, January 2020 to present. Career goals, pursue a career as a financial manager, and his hobby and interests, swimming and sports in general. Isadora Matos Renato. Isadora's interests and activities, 2000 to 2018 rather, to 2020, Fairmont State tennis team captain. All MEC academic team requires active roster and GPA of 3.70 to 4.0 in the semester of a championship season. Band recommended athlete for skill and sportsmanship and perseverance. Orientation leader at Fairmont State University. Memory member rather of the Rotaract Club at Fairmont State University. Career goals to complete prerequisite to continue living legally in the US after graduate school to choose whether to stay or return to Brazil, where she was born, 
and when she feels fully prepared for the job market. Hobbies and interests include the summer season and the beach. Emily, Rachel, Piles. Emily's achievements and activities include data service in state foundation, volunteer work with the West Virginia National Hemophilia Foundation, advanced data, advanced, like, let me try that one more time. Advancement data temp at the WVU Foundation, Secretary Treasurer for Alpha Phi Omega, and Secretary for CKI. Career goals will work as an advancement data temp at the WVU Foundation until approximately September. Applying for a found, for a project management position with WVU Medicine or comparable organization. Focus on project management career. The profession is one that she finds to be challenging, rewardable, and flexible for almost any field. Hobbies and interests, she is an avid hiker. Kelly and Samson. Kelly's achievements and activities include treasurer and fundraiser for Alpha Sigma Tau, intern for Poco Valley Bank in the HR department, provided meals for Ronald McDonald House in Morgantown, built and installed a donation box for the soup opera in Fairmont, service and engagement team member at Target in Bridgeport, accounts payable clerk at Hildreth Supply Inc. in Spencer, West Virginia. Her career goals are to earn an MBA at West University Online in 2021 and to pursue a position in HR. Hobbies and interests, she enjoys spending time with family dogs, Emerald and Molly, likes to work, loves the sense of accomplishment and satisfaction, of achieving order from chaos. Rachel Toothman. Rachel's achievements and activities, graduated from Laude, she's been on the Dean's List, volunteer for VITA, the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. Career goals, she currently has an account at Clarksburg Heritage Regional Housing Authority and is planning on sitting for the CPA certification test this fall. Hobbies and interests, as time allows, she loves anything outdoors, camping, and laying on the beach. Tafara Adonis Bushindi Baba. Tafara's achievements and activities, president list in fall 2019, Dean's Emily Leaf Nichols Alumni Scholarship in 2019, the William White International Student Scholarship in 2017, resident assistant at Fairmont State University, and student technician at Fairmont State Technology Commons Help Desk. Career goals, he would like to earn a master's degree in information systems, pursue a systems analyst position, eventually become a full-time trader and investor, and mentor and teach others full-time. Hobbies and interests, he enjoys playing and watching soccer, basketball, and rugby, and he's been trading stocks for almost a year, but he's still growing and learning. Alexis Zide. Alexis's achievements and activities, honors program mentor, she's officially certified in Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, WVU Game Camp Captain. Her career goals, she plans to continue her education through law school, undecided on where, with current plans to graduate and become a criminal prosecutor. Fun fact, survived hypothermia in Iceland. Next, we will recognize the inducted graduate members of the Kappa Omicron chapter. Daniel Davis. Daniel's achievements and activities, he served as a University of Pittsburgh mascot and undergrad, is an Eagle Scout, and is currently employed at pg and t Career goals, he would like to achieve a certified associate in project management and pursue project management. Hobbies and interests, he's an avid skier, enjoys skiing in Colorado and Utah. Kelly Gerselli. Trey's achievements and activities, he's been a graduate assistant at Fairmont State University, 
been on the president's list and is conducting research for NASA's sponsored data analytics project. Career goals include attending WV in fall 2020 and to pursue a medical career. Hobbies and interests, playing basketball, exploring nature, and investing in stocks. Shelby Harmon. Joseph LaRocca. Joseph's achievements and activities. He was a graduate assistant in the School of Business in Research and development of data, data analytics program. Career goals is to start a career in sales. Once he's financially stable, open and operate his own business. Like to manage properties in real estate. Hobbies and interests, played the last two years of baseball career at Fairmont State. He enjoys hiking, fishing, golf, really anything outdoors. Jennifer Thomas. Amanda Tuscan. Achievements and activities. She is the academic success coordinator at Fairmont State University, adjunct professor of the year 2017 and 2018, and the co-president of the Penn State Alumni Association in the Greater Morgantown Chapter 2019. Career goals are to remain in higher education and earn her PhD in higher education administration, focusing in strategic planning, leadership of academic advising. Her goal is to be the vice president of academic affairs. Hobbies and interests, she enjoys college football and traveling. Goal is to visit all D1 college football stadiums for a game and hopefully a Penn State national championship. this time, please unmute your mics and join us in a round of applause to welcome all of the new members of the Kappa Omicron chapter, Delta Mu Delta Honor Society. <laughs> opportunities that are now available to you as members of Delta Mu Delta. You need a minute. Oh. You're eligible to apply for a variety of scholarships ranging from $500 to $3,000. I encourage you to visit the website for Delta Mu Delta to review the scholarship program. Members of Kappa Omicron oh, have been awarded in the past, so we encourage you to apply. Scholarship application deadline is June 12th. She said, I just heard Tina. And winners will be announced on I August 30th. Have a big mouth. Tell her I'm calling. <clears throat> Christine's got a big mouth. You may want to mute your mic. <laughs> also, officer elections will be taking place online, so please check your Fairmont State email accounts for details regarding officer positions, duties, and directions for the online election process. Remember, self-nominations are definitely encouraged. For any graduating members of Delta Mu Delta who are interested in obtaining the honor stole, please see Martha Amos in the main School of Business office and email her as listed on the screen. So again, congratulations to each of the newly inducted Kappa Omicron chapter members. And at this time, I want to turn it back over to Dr. Oxley for the closing remarks. Okay, thank you. And again, congratulations to all of you who are listening or viewing in and for the, this particular honor. And I wish you the best for all of your future endeavors. And we hope that you stay in touch for those of you that are leaving us this month. Uh, some of you I know will be around for a few more months. Uh, we're certainly proud to call you all members of the Falcon family, and I am especially proud to count all of you among our distinguished alumni of the School of Business and Aviation.
So thank you very much. Thank you for making our careers that much more rewarding. And thank you for being good representatives of the School of Business and Aviation at Fairmont State University. So I will also like to invite all the inductees to stay on the call if you're on here with a video presence for a group picture. And as I've, I've said at the conclusion of all the awards events in which I've moderated, drive safely on your way home. So with that, I will turn that back over to, to I think, uh, uh, Professor Frazier, who's going to kind of organize you to, uh, to a group photo. And with that, our formal um, event is over. Thank you for attending.